Okay, so I've got my stock. Um, all the varnish is stripped off. It's had uh, three good coats of paint stripper now. Um, the checkering's all intact, and nice and put together. Um, the dents are all steamed out. The next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the stain. I want to strip it back because this is a beach stock, so it should be like a light brown colour. I want to strip it back so it's all nice and even. Um, so that I can apply an even finish, an even new colour on top of that. So, next thing, see how we can get rid of that uh, stain colour. Now I've tried, I've tried a number of different things. I've tried bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar. Mixed that up to like a toothpaste consistency rubbed it on, left it, rubbed it on, left it, even tried some wire wool on it, doesn't bring the stain out. So, the next step was I bought some of this. Um, this is uh, specifically for removing uh, wood stain remover. It is for water-based stains. I have found that it doesn't touch this stuff. This is obviously not a water-based stain. However, I have found one thing if we look at this side and compare it to this side, you can see that uh, this side still got all the stain on, this side it's coming off and that is after one application of, believe it or not, now it's all bleach, so the bleach is fetching off the, uh, the stain. So I'll give it another couple of coats of this and we'll see if we can get the wood back to its original state and nice and white and clean uh, and move on from there. So the process of removing the stain, I'm just getting the bleach and I'm working it into the wood with a paintbrush. Uh, this allows me to get it right into the checkering, all the nooks and crannies and the, and the profiles of the, of the gun stock and I'll give it maybe two or three coats Basically, I'll just keep going until it looks how I want it to look and it's nice and white and a nice even base to start my new stain on. Then I can work it to the colour that I actually want. I'll just leave this to do its work and draw out all that uh, stain originally put in by Virac, I suppose. The stock itself, I'm so pleased with it. Considering what it was like, it was a obviously a, it, it had been a field gun. Um, it had got so many knocks and dings in it and scars and in the in the, um, in the varnish and what have you. It was really quite scruffy. And now, after I've steamed all the dents out, there's there appears to be no dings in it whatsoever. It's just like um, pretty much like it would have been when you when it came out of the the woodworking shop having just been done. Um, I just need to get working on this uh, this finish so that I can uh, get a nice uh, a nice even coating of stain on it and then uh, a nice covering of true oil. Okay <clears throat> just uh, brushing on this or brushing in this um, bleach into the grain of the wood and already I can see it, it's beginning to beginning to lighten. I'll stop the short just to, uh, so you can see the effect and you'll be, be able to see the wood beginning to lighten. So let's just give this a wash off and a quick look. Yep, already you can slowly begin to see <coughs> that it's starting to lighten, that uh, stain's coming out. Obviously, it's, it's pretty dark because it's wet, but the, uh, we're getting a nice even overall effect. And uh, I'll work on it a little more, give it a couple more coats and uh, see if I can get it all nice and even and light. Just brought this out into the sunshine so you can see the effect 
that that uh, bleach has had on the wood. As you can see, very nearly all the stains come out. There's a few little tiny bits here that still need uh, to be removed. So another uh, application of bleach on there. But you can see it's stripped the wood right back. Um, the forearm there is pretty much exactly how I want it. A little bit more there. So, so far so good. So here we are. This is uh, three coats of uh, bleach down the line. And I'm pretty pleased with that. <coughs> so now I can start some fine sanding and, uh, and working on the finish. So far so good. But look at that, that's lovely, that's stripped really right back to the original beach. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. This is frankly beautiful, it's stripped off absolutely perfect. So we're back, back down to the uh, the beach. Now I actually like beach, it's a nice, it's a nice wood, it's a good, uh, hard, uh, <coughs> long lasting, good, hard wearing wood. But, um, as you can see here, look, in the inside where I've not uh, been trying to strip off any of the varnish or the, or the, uh, the colour, you can see what it was like and what it is now. So, that's steamed out, no dings, no scratches, no horror shows on it, uh, just nice plain stripped um, beach. Now, I washed this all off last night, it's as smooth as silk, it's really nice. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some wood dye on it so um, I'm going for something a little bit unusual and we'll work his way along it and see how it goes. Now I'm applying plenty on because I want it to soak in. This is uh, a red mahogany colour to give it sort of that browny, pinky kind of hue. And what I shall do is I shall give it two or three coats of dye, of wood dye, and then once that's done, we can start on the re reapplication of a finish. And there you can see that's all going in quite nicely. Soaking in really well. Like, well, now that I've removed all the, the varnish and the stain and what have you and stripped the wood back, there's nothing to stop this from soaking in as you'd want it to soak in. So just the wood is just soaking it up like a sponge, which is actually what I want. Because I want that dye to. Soak into the grain, give me that uh, nice, deep, lustrous colour. Okay, so that's first coat done, and uh, I shall do that two or three more times, and we will move on to the uh, application of some true oil. There we go. One, what was a horribly beaten and battered stock, starting to look a little bit more civilised again. Pretty pleased with that so far.